The biggest challenge for the Española Valley Humane Society is the abundance of animals and the lack of quality homes in such a poor area. We meet that challenge by partnering rather than by expanding. For example, the, the shelter is owned by the city of Española and they also pay for utilities. That keeps our overhead low and donations can flow right to the animals instead of the building. My mentor is a board member and she is very quiet about her achievements. Uh, because she doesn't come from a place of ego, she can navigate through conflict better than anyone I know. So because of her, I've learned to seek compromise rather than be competitive, to really listen to the other person's perspective and to try to reach a respectful compromise. If I could influence the world of sheltering management, I would insist on a dual career track, one for those who are technically proficient and the other for managers. Uh, the best coaches are rarely the best players. And I found that managers may not be the most knowledgeable, but they're very good at teaming, at delegating, and letting others shine. My advice to anyone starting out on their career is to take the time to discover what they enjoy, not just what they're good at. There are so many people with broad-based skills and background that they can excel at just about anything. Uh, but discovering your vocation, your passion, that's the challenge.